the Miss Mallard, the world famous duck detective, here in Prague and at our circus. I thought I recognized you when you were getting on the Ferris wheel. I just had to join you. I'm one of your biggest fans. I'm Quack Quack the Clown. Working on a case? Ah! Oh, I hate these things. <clears throat> this is Inspector Willet. Widget! Now you're there. The Widget, respond immediately. Where are you, Widget? It, it sounds like a circus. What? Now, Ferris wheel? You're supposed to be investigating. I've assigned inspectors all over to track down this thief who's hit some of Europe's biggest cities, and you're on a circus ride, Widget? You better not tell me you was your auntie. Okay, Chief Inspector Bufflehead, I won't tell you that. I was just doing an uh, aerial reconnoiter, uh, looking for possible theft locations, sir. <laughs> You're coming tomorrow? Uh, to, to oversee my investigation. Uh, but, sir, yes, sir, y meet you at the hotel tomorrow. Y I gather Inspector Bufflehead will be joining us. And I didn't exactly say you were here when he asked. When he sees you, I'm going to be in big trouble. He just sounded so mad. So when he said not to tell him you were here, that's exactly what I did. I didn't think he'd turn around and come to Prague. When he gets to the Empress Dakaria Hotel and sees you tomorrow, he's going to quack out of his mind. Nah! Didn't mean to eavesdrop, but sounds like your boss is a lot like my boss. Is he mean, petty, insulting, power-hungry, and rude? Let me tell you. And since the circus has been on our European tour, he's even worse. Then we're two ducks on the same Ferris wheel of life. Now, Willard, remember who you are? An inspector with the Swiss police and a very good duck detective, if I do say so myself. If anyone should know, it's Miss Mallard. That's just the problem. My boss doesn't know she's the Miss Mallard. I've never gotten a chance hmm. to introduce them, and now it's way too late. Bufflehead thinks she's just an auntie. Uh, no offense, auntie. None taken, Willard. Now, do you remember our discussions about how a good detective must be able to move about undetected? Yeah, how we have to see without being seen. Oh, exactly. I just won't let Inspector Bufflehead see me. And if anyone tells him Miss Mallard is on the case, he won't make the connection because he won't ever see either of us together. Excellent plan, Auntie. Now then, Prague Castle, Petron Tower, Old Town, Wenceslas Square. There's a lot of places the thief can strike in this city. Wow, you are working on a case. Sorry, it's classified. Hmm. All the previous heists were done at night. Small objects were taken. Very valuable small objects. Always things you could fit in the palm of your wing. An exquisite diamond stolen in Amsterdam. A rare and ancient perfume from Cologne. A precious solid gold watch stolen in... Zurich! I'll never outlive the shame! Switzerland's Museum of Precious Timepieces is in my jurisdiction. One can't be everywhere at once, Willard. What do you think you're doing, Quack Quack? I pay you to entertain, not play on the rides. Sorry, boss. I was just... Do my eyes deceive me? Are you not Miss Mallard, the world-famous detective? Why, you are almost as famous as I. Uh, Baron Gadwell, uh, proprietor of Baron Gadwell's world-famous circus. Tell me... Confidentially, are you working on a case as we speak? As you speak, no. But my nephew, Inspector Willard... I just remember, no investigating here. We like to keep the mystery of the circus mysterious. And quack quack, quit clowning around and start clowning around! We should go back to the hotel, Auntie. If Inspector Bufflehead is coming tomorrow, then I'm going to need all the rest I can get. Good morning.
morning, Angie. I feel much better after a good night's sleep. You see, I realized the thief could be anywhere in Europe. And when he strikes again, which he probably will somewhere else, Bufflehead will head off and leave us alone. That is very possible, Willard. But still, we must be vigilant. But, Auntie, I mean, what are the odds the thief is here? My violin, oh. my priceless Stradaduckius, it's been stolen. Huh? Yes. What are the odds? <laughs> Why, you're... You're Miss Mallard. Oh, thank goodness. You must investigate. I am Yuri Driver, a concert violinist. This robbery is too important for hotel detectives. Hotel detectives? Oh. I woke up a few moments ago and found the violin was missing. <laughs> oh, my priceless Tradaduckius. Built in 1634. It's priceless. They took the pick, the bow, the fiddle, everything. Though a Stradaduckius is very valuable, it doesn't fit the pattern of the other thefts, Auntie. The other stolen items could fit in the palm of your wing. A violin is just too big. Besides the size of the stolen items, Willard, are there any other similarities among the other thefts? No one can explain how the thief even got into the locations where the artifacts were kept. Only someone with incredible strength and climbing <laughs> abilities could have committed the thefts. I see. Aren't you supposed to dust for wing prints and not sneeze all over them? Listen, I'm Willard Widgeon of the Swiss Police, and I get enough of that kind of talk from my boss, Chief Inspector Bufflehead. Who just got out of a taxi. <clears throat> Chief Inspector Bufflehead! Uh, I'm supposed to meet him in the lobby! This is a ticket to Dr. Whistler's House of Fun at the circus. Uh, does it belong to you? I never saw it before. Widgeon! Uh, why, Inspector Bubblehead, I hope you had a pleasant trip. Never mind that. Any developments in the case? Uh, a priceless violin was stolen from this very hotel, but... but... Really? Any clues? Well, I uh, don't know. No. But it doesn't fit the pattern. Now I'll be the judge of that. I'm going to check in, Widgeon. Then I'll show you how real policing's done. Psst. Willard. The hotel room window was forced open from the outside by someone very strong and who's a very good climber. Then that does fit the pattern. And I found these. Dr. Whistler's house of fun. The circus? If I go back there, Bufflehead will think I'm goofing off again. Not if you say we found these clues in the hotel room. I'll go and investigate, and we can meet there later. And if we're lucky, Chief Inspector Bufflehead won't insist on coming with me. I'll take him to the scene of the crime. That'll keep him busy for a while. Widgeon! Yes, sir! Coming, coming! <laughs> Miss Mallard! Oh, gracious! You gave me a fright. I was just on my way to Dr. Whistler's house of fun. Oh, but before you go there, you must see Baron Gadwall's grand exhibition of antiquities and curios from around the world. Antiquities and curios from around the world? Oh, how interesting. The very apple that fell on Sir Isaac Newduck's head. Pickled and preserved for posterity. Sir Lancedoc's suit of armor. And over there, a rock found by Christopher Columduck after he discovered the new world. Isn't it fascinating? Yes, that's one way of putting it. But, Inspector, I've already told all this to Miss Mallard. Miss Mallard's here? In Prague? Widgeon, you didn't tell me Miss Mallard was on the case. Ah. Uh. Now there's a detective. And you could learn a lesson or two about solving crimes from her instead of always hanging out with your auntie. 
Where is Miss Mallard now? She's gone to the circus. We found these clues in the victim's room, and Miss Mallard believes there may be some connection. My priceless Trabatakius in the grease-painted wings of circus riffraff! Come along, Willard. I want to find Miss Mallard. Oh, great. And the prize of my collection? The mummy of Cleodacra and her most treasured possessions. What? That darn Dr. Whistler's been tinkering with Cleo again. I've told him a hundred times to keep his wind-up puppets in his funhouse. Wonderful. Maybe we should split up. We'd find her faster that way. That's a very good idea, Widgeon. You head north, and I'll keep on this way. Baron Gadwall's grand exhibition of antiquities and curios. <laughs> oh, Willard! Did you discover anything, Auntie? Only that Dr. Whistler is a very talented man. Oh, he's made wonderful mechanical puppets. You think those are something? Check out his fun show! Ladies and gentle ducks, please welcome my next amazing mechanical puppets, that daring duckling duo, Ding and Dang. <laughs> my, they certainly can jump. And they're strong, too. Care to knock over some milk bottles? Or maybe you want to see Dr. Whistler's workshop. Why, yes. How did you know? You're Miss Mallard. Ergo, you must be investigating a mystery. And there's no one more mysterious than Dr. Whistler. Dr. Whistler's workshop is the third tent to the right. Oh, hello. Did you enjoy the show? I must apologize for Belinda here. She does tend to stall. Always had the stage fright, poor dear. Oh, no, no, no. She's a lovely dancer. Oh. Oh. Ding, dang, get down. That's very rude. They must have a few too many cracks left in them after the show. How do they know what to do? It all depends how much you wind them and how you set the gears and cranks. They can do almost anything if you know what you want them to do. Well, well, well. What have we here? I wonder. A diamond? A watch? A violin! <laughs> it's obvious. Dr. Whistler's wind-up puppets could have committed the robberies. Did you see those ducklings jump? And they were so strong. I have to tell Inspector Bufflehead. I'm not so certain. Unwing me, I say. What is the meaning of this? Sir, what's going on? Widgeon, take these. I have solved the case. See, here is a stolen Stratodacius, and the items stolen from the other European cities. Baron Gadwall's been using his circus as a front to travel Europe and steal priceless artifacts. But, sir, this is too easy. Why would he steal things only to put them on display for everyone to see? Besides, 
I can't see how he could have committed the crimes. They required too much athletic skill. Uh, no offense, Mr. Gadwall. None taken. My aunt, I mean, Miss Mallard and I, were just discussing how the wind-up puppets from Dr. Whistler's Funhouse are the only ones who could have pulled off the crimes. Exactly. They've been working together. <laughs> Arrest them both. <clears throat> oh. <gasps> Freeze. He's going on the Ferris wheel. Wait, sir! What goes up must come down. Unless we stop the Ferris wheel, Willard. going on? As we are all aware, there's been a rash of robberies in major European cities this summer. I checked and can confirm that the robberies occurred when your circus was in town. <gasps> May I ask when Quack Quack the Clown joined the circus? Wasn't it a few months before we started our tour in Amsterdam? That sounds about right. Where a priceless diamond was stolen. I didn't steal it. It's been with my show for years. I have a confession to make. Largest diamond in the world. Cut glass. It can't even cut glass. Cleodacra's perfume. Peanut oil. You need to change, too. Napoleon Bonaduc's solid gold watch. Gold spray paint. Original Stratodacius. Original plywood and cardboard. Exactly. All items clearly visible in your display. A display Quack Quack became very familiar with. Just like he did with Dr. Whistler's Ding and Dang creations. The robberies were quite ingenious. No clues left. No one could figure out how a duck could possibly get through the laser security systems or break into the buildings without arousing the attention of the authorities or get away so easily. One would need special skills. Skills very obvious in Dr. Whistler's wind-up puppets, Ding and Dang. I found a ticket to your house of fun and a duckling feather at the scene of the crime at the hotel. The same color duckling feather as Ding and Dang have. Not my babies. Not of their own free will, Dr. Whistler. Because, as everyone knows, puppets simply do their master's will. Quack Quack made some mechanical adjustments on Ding and Dang, and then had them break in and steal Yuri's priceless violin. Widgeon! Do you hear me? But how did Quack Quack know about Yuri and his violin? Simple. Did you not see the tuxedo under Quack Quack's clown costume? Yuri is Quack Quack. He used the violin to fake a robbery in an attempt to mislead us and take the heat off himself as the international robber. And he planted the feather and the ticket in his room to make Dr. Whistler and his wind-up puppets look guilty so he could then make a clean getaway. I first became suspicious of Yuri when you questioned the odds of a robbery like all the others taking place in Prague. I became even more suspicious when Yuri said he had just woken up and found the violin was missing. But he was wearing a tuxedo. And what type of duck wears a tuxedo to bed? And then he said everything had been stolen. The bow, the violin, even the pick. And as everyone knows, you don't play a violin with a pick. A pick is for a guitar, which means that Yuri does not know much about violins. Yuri, as Quack Quack, realized how much the heat was on when he saw Willard and me at the circus. He followed us onto the Ferris wheel. It was clear that he wanted to find out if we were on his case, which was confirmed to him when he overheard Willard speaking to Chief Inspector Bufflehead. Even with his back turned, he must have heard what hotel we were staying in and decided to create a diversion. He didn't have time to plan the diversion as well as the other crimes, mm. since he usually 
Bradley had many days in which to choreograph Ding and Dang's attacks. But he had to find something for them to steal, fast and easy, like Baron Gadwall's violin, put in a hastily purchased thrift shop violin case that hadn't been used in years. And what violinist would allow the tools of his trade to get covered with dust? No, if Yuri was really a maestro with a Stradiducus violin, he would have treated it much better. But why? Why did he do this? After Quack Quack got the job and saw Dr. Whistler's amazing creations, he got the idea to use them for evil and frame the circus for the thefts. It was almost a perfect plan. But he didn't expect to run into Miss Mallard, the world-famous duck detective. And her equally capable nephew. Wigan! <gasps> if you don't get me down from here this minute, you'll be handing out traffic tickets until the day you retire! Chief Inspector Bufflehead uh, appears to be losing patience. Uh, perhaps we should bring them down. He's gonna have my head for this. Not if we gather together some reporters to watch him and his loyal subordinate arrest the international thief while Miss Mallard is away having her tea. He does like to be center stage. Wonderful. This will be great advertising for my circus. Who would have thought all of this would have happened today? It's like ducks say, life's a circus. Witches!